In this lecture, we will solve the systems of linear equations in two different ways. One is by substitution, another is by elimination. The first example is 3x plus y equals 7. The second uh, equation is y equals 4x. Now we want to solve this one by substitution. We know here is that y is given as 4x. So if y is 4x, then we like to replace this y by this y is actually the same y or by 4x because y equals 4x. So we wrote here is replace y in the first equation by 4x. So once we did that, then you will see 3x plus y is replaced by 4x, so you write 4x there, and then equals 7. Okay, so you can see down here, this one was y. Okay, now we replaced by what? By 4x. Okay, all right, now then you see we have a 3x and we have a 4x. So together is 7x equals 7. And then we can see if both sides divided by 7. And then what we get is 7, 7 cancel each other. So then we have will be left hand side is x long. Right hand side is 1. Okay. So we have x is 1. Once x is 1, then you know we can, this is 1 now. And then we put this one back here. So what we get is that by equation, y equals 4x here right down here, one can have is y equals 4 times 1. Okay, again, you can mark it. goes here, uh, goes here, and then, you know, goes here. Okay. And 4 times 1, we know that will be 1, and uh, that will be 4. Okay, so then you want to put the final solution like this x equals 1, and y is 4 in this way. Huh. So we are done with uh, the first one. Uh, you know, uh, you may also do is that put in this way, you know, one four. Okay, you see, then this is our x, this is our y, and this is going to be a point, you know, in your x y coordinate plane. All right, let's look at the second example. The second example is that. 7x minus y is 47, and x plus 6y is 19. So we want to do by elimination. Elimination is we want to cancel one variable. Okay, but you know, here we can see negative y here is positive 6y. If here were negative 6y then that would be nice because what we can do is we add together positive 6y, negative 6y will cancel each other. But unfortunately here is not. 
but we have a way to make it. Okay, so if everywhere is multiplied by six, in the first equation, then we can make this one be negative five. So that's why I wrote here is that multiply the first equation by six. Okay, so what do we get? We then get to now six times seven is forty-two. Huh? X. And then you have a negative 6y. And then here, you know, is 47 times 6. So if we hit the enter, we then have a 282. Okay. Now, then we can see is that. You have a negative 6y, positive 6y. So we may add those two equations. Uh, so add, you may write, add the above equation, this equation, the above equation. to what? If you mark here is the first equation, here is the second equation, then you may say to equation, equation two. Okay, if you add that, you have those two canceled, and then you have a 42x, and here is x, remember, if it's x alone, then you know that's 1 times x. Because 1 times anything is that thing. So 42 plus 1 is 43x. And those two cancelled. And then we have uh, 19 uh, plus 282. So 19 plus. 282. Hit the enter, you then have a what? 301. Okay. And up to this far, we know we want to divide both sides by 43. Huh. Then you have a 43, 43 cancelled. And then 1 times x. So you then have an x on the left equals 303 divided by 43 is 7. Okay. All right. Now we have the value for x equals 7. You can put this 7 anywhere here. Okay. How about right here? Uh, yeah, either way works. We should have the same answer. Uh, so let's put it right here in the second equation. Okay. So from the second equation, from equation two, then we have a When we can have a, uh, what? Mm, seven. X is seven. Uh, seven plus six Y equals 19. Uh. And then, you know, isolate Y is minus seven on both sides. And you have these two canceled. And then you have what? 6y equals 19 minus 7 is 12. And then both sides divided by 6. All right. And what do we get? We then get is 6 divided by 6 is 1. 1 times y, we have y. 
and the right hand side is 2. So x is 7, y is 2. Again, there are two ways to write it. You may write together like that, or you may rewrite it as 7, 2 with round bracket. Uh, and then down here is comma. And we know that will be a point in an xy coordinate plane. Here is x, here is y. Alright? Okay. Please review this one. I'll see you next time.